Hello there. My name is Dr. Bill Crawford, a psychologist, a speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials. Here today to give you another tip on how to help you create more clarity, confidence, creativity in everything you do. Today I want to look at the subject of the past, and especially this belief that we can't change the past. I'm sure you've heard that, you can't change the past, it's what it is, you gotta do better, better. And, you know, of course, on some level that's true, we can't change the fact that World War II happened or that even something happened to us. However, what we can do is change how we think about it, how we perceive it, and that will change the present and the future. So I want to show you how to actually change the past in a way that allows you to bring more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. You see, the past doesn't, doesn't exist in our mind as a, like a factual movie of exactly what happens. We recreate the past based on our experience of it, based on what happened after that, before that, what's going on now. So given that, that we're recreating the past, why don't we recreate it in a way that serves us now and in the future? Now, what we want to be careful about here is this belief that somehow we have to change what happened in the past in order to feel differently now. Because that puts the belief in our mind that in order for us to have any influence on how we think or feel or be, we have to have certain things happen in a certain way. We don't want to do that. We don't want to tie our peace of mind to external events that we don't have any control over. Now, what we want to do is look at how we interpreted that experience. Because for those of you who've been following my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know, we've got this middle part of the brain, the limbic system that actually interprets everything we see and feel and do, or anything that we experience. That's the good news, because if we can become the producer, the director of that interpretation, we can have a tremendous effect on our experience of life now and in the future. So let's look back at the past and see some incident that we would kind of like to change, but, you know, it happened, okay. How do we find ourselves reacting to it? What do we think? What do we feel? What did we do in reaction to that experience? If we could change that, which of course we can. You know, if we are the producer and the director, we just yell, cut. <laughs> we go and we tell those actors and actresses to play different roles, or especially ourselves, to react in a different way, respond in a way that's more purposeful, in a way that makes a statement about who we are, in a way that we would recommend to someone we love. And anytime we think something or do something, we create a neural pathway in our brain. So just as we have some old neural pathways in our brain about what the past meant and, 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 and the effect it had in our lives, we can create some new neural pathways by imagining responding to that situation in a more purposeful way, in a way we would recommend to someone we love. If we could choose the qualities or characteristics we brought to that experience, how we interpreted it, did we make it information about us and what's wrong with us, or did we make it information about what's going on outside of us and choose to respond in a way we could feel really, really proud of? I hope you're seeing how this idea of changing the past is really about changing who we were back then so that we can be more of that person now and in the future, given that life is a constant recreation of who we are, a constant statement about who we are and who we are becoming, we want to use every tool we can to begin to influence that experience in a way that serves us, in a way we would recommend to someone we love. So if you have an experience in the past that has been causing you some pain or memory that has been getting in the way of you bringing your clarity, confidence, and creativity to life, I encourage you to change that memory. Change your experience of it. Change your response to it in that moment. Create a new movie of you being the way you would recommend to someone you love and just watch how that begins to give us a new perspective on how we can respond to similar situations in the present and in the future. I hope you're enjoying these videos. As you know, I'm having a wonderful time bringing them to you. If so, please go to my website and let me know. Hit the contact button. The website, by the way, is BillCrawfordPhD.com or just Google Bill Crawford PhD. I'll come up on the first page. 
hit the contact button. Let me know what you're thinking about these uh, videos. Or if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like button. Leave a comment below. I love to read your comments. If you have a question, put that below as well, and I will respond to that. Uh, like me on Facebook if you would. Tell your friends. You know, one of the things that helps these kind of messages get out into the world is you sharing them with people you love, with people that you care about, and with people that you think might could use this information. So I'm hoping you're doing that. In the meantime, here is to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.